I, will, I have to say Toxic Church. I have like a segment I want to do. It's called Toxic Church. Toxic Church. Yeah. I like it. Break that down. It's, it's basically like, you know, when I grew up in the church, you know, I had some in and outs. After my mom died, like I moved with my grandparents and they were so holy. Like how we looked at them on the outside, like, wow, they're so holy. But like, I always knew that it was something off with them. Mm. Like I always knew that like, Y'all got so much shit going on inside this house, but it's like when y'all come outside, y'all put y'all suits on. Yeah. And, you know, my granddaddy, he's the deacon, and it's just like everything is so perfect now. And then, you know, with living with my grandma, grandparents and things like that, be going to Bible school, uh, you know, uh, Bible study, you know, vacation Bible school, everything like that, Sunday school. And it's just like you realize that, like, these people that you're around, they're monsters. And mm-hmm. then they're creating, like, you just realize basically like you're you're in a situation where as a child you think that this is like the best right thing for you to do and this is how you're going to make it in life yeah but you only sit back and realize that this is going to tear me down like Mm. this is my worst wow so toxic so based off of that realization yeah uh what would you say would be the best alternative I say that uh, don't get too caught up in the theatrics of church. You can fellowship. Like, I don't really like to go in too much into religion because I'm not educated in every, you know, side of religion. But I know my, my you know, my religion, I feel like, you know, I praise to the most high, which is God. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I'm God-fearing. And for me, it's like, I don't need to go to church, you know, to fellowship. Mm. And even with that even statement, it gets... If you were sitting in front of a Christian, like, what the hell you mean you ain't going to church? Yeah. Every time. But no, this is real life. Mm. And it was like, I saw people that were gay coming to church get shunned away. I saw people that were pregnant coming to church get shunned away. I saw people that was fucking in the church, you know, mm-hmm. motherfuckers sleeping with each other. Like, I seen this shit at a young age. And, you know, I'm seeing how just corrupt it was. And people use, you know, that platform or, you know, that that space that God has give, given us the fellowship and, you know, love on each other and try to, you know, uplift each other to use it to basically, like, boost their ego, mm-hmm. their toxic ego on yeah. other people. Yeah. If that kind of makes sense. No, I, I get what I you're saying. I, I, it's, it's a lie. You, I, you hear about it. Yeah. I personally have never witnessed it. Right. I've been to a few churches growing up. I wasn't heavy, heavy into the church. It was yeah. one church my grandmother took me into a lot growing up, but it was a big church, so it was mm-hmm. a lot of people in and out, so it wasn't like really crazy it was community based but it wasn't to the point where like you know a smaller church where everyone knows everyone yeah everyone knows everyone's dirt yeah you know good bad whatever may have you i never been in those type of churches yeah, it, and it's it, crazy and it's and it's different yeah. in the south so no, you was, definitely yeah, yeah. you you was in south sure. carolina like yeah. it's it's different you know like <laughs> yeah. people know about them southern, the southern you know churches. church yeah, yeah yeah so i've never been in that environment so i can't say but i've heard about it but that's i just say that to say that you know you're saying you know it may sound crazy no you sound on yeah. point like people haven't been Definitely. talking about it for years for nothing Nobody t- like i think i i admit i brought this up um i was about to start filming a show called on the rise charlotte and um this i was explaining it to people like i brought the like you know, I brought the proposal up, you know, to the producers, stuff like that, about, like, you know, talk to church. And everybody was, like, everybody really grabbed on to the subject. Yeah. Like, people had so much to say, like, you know, from their, you know, experience. And I was yeah. like, wow, like, this shit is, like, serious. Like, yeah. I thought in my head, you know, wow, like, to see, you know, I have a friend who was sexual harassed in the church. I have a friend mm-hmm. who was, you know, bisexual, and he had a child with the, a woman before she, they were married. And motherfuckers say they can't sing the, sing the choir. Like, mm. just... Stupid shit. That's I feel like it's just like, come on. I remember the first time I've even heard of a certain term which referred to a woman that gave a lot of head came from a kid group in church. Shorty was we was probably like 12 or 13, yo. So we're playing like we were playing some type of game where you raise your hand and like yeah. confess something. <laughs> We're like 12 or 13, mind you. Yeah. And this girl, I remember, she rose her hand and said, I'm a bobblehead. We're like 12 or 13 in a church kids group. And like, I didn't get it at first, but she said it. And then like, she kind of like did some type of gesture. And then like, later on, I realized like, oh shit. This is where we're at. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, is it this supposed to be? But oh, that just goes to say with, you know, it's it's not all peaches and cream. No, you know what I'm seriously. saying? Like so you can get wicked. That, that was a great song, by the way, 112 Peaches and Cream. Yeah. Um, but um, so something else that's let's let's talk about just subjects around church, and I want to get your opinion on it. Yeah. Um 
let's see, what goes down in the church that they shun, if you would? Um, isn't it like kind of frowned upon to shack up, shackle up before marriage in the church? Is, Definitely, is, but... Oh, okay, so <laughs> let me, what was you about to say? Definitely, but what? People that shun upon that shit, the same motherfuckers that, you know what I'm saying, got married fast as hell to be not shunned upon, but you still get mistreated, cheated on, and just don't have no self-respect. Mm. So who's really falling apart right now? Yeah. 